I logged on burning. I'm not sure what I did to deserve this. Oh, wait, no, I might remember. Gosh, the sun looks so good today, doesn't it? Ah, uh, yes, there's the sun. I see it. I'm finally out of the cave. My eyes. Look at that so sun. I'm stare at the sun. Oh, the sun's great. This is a nice sun. Is that a horse walking by itself? I think that is a horse by itself. <laughs> Look at that horse by himself. Oh, <laughs> wow, the horse can talk. The horse can talk. Oh, that was, was me. Oh, no. the horse it's me. Do you guys respect me? You fired me. <laughs> the sun. No. Why is he laughing? Why is he laughing? He's just like that, you know. Oh, I'm sorry. I like to giggle. I'm a giggler. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> You just no, have to like hang over the edge because it, yeah. So you do, so you do, or you you don't, or yeah. You know, why don't you get on eye this? level with us? You step on up there, and then then we'll talk yeah, about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, We can't really see you from yeah. down here. Oh, wait, wait, wow. wait, wait, no, no, wait, wait, wait. That was no right. I don't need to jump I, on that. Just look at me. Just look. Your at horse me. is running away again. <laughs> We're looking at you. Does your horse you... respect you? What happened? Why? Why did? You... Oh, no. What are you doing? We respect wait. you. <laughs> <laughs> so much respecting. <laughs> I got the hat! I got the hat! Hey, he had so much stuff. <laughs> howdy, 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 howdy. Thanks howdy. for the sword. <laughs> Jimmy, I'm sorry. Okay, but like, is it ever gonna end? Gosh! <laughs> After nearly being struck down by the sun for my actions, I decided to do a good deed and go teach Joel how to use the raid farm so that he could access emeralds. This went, uh... Well, about as good as you'd expect with a princess teaching a god how to use something that neither of them have ever used before. Did it get more thingies? Oh, there's still guys, so keep hitting. Ah! This- Ah! Dying! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Joel, what you gotta doing? kill them! You gotta kill them, Joel! There's no more armor stands! I can't kill them! I don't have oh, a sword, Oh my gosh! Joel, <laughs> Joel please! Oh. And after that near-death experience, I finally returned to Dawn, where there was something else mysterious going on. I think if I just stay very still, that really weird sound won't do anything. Maybe not. Well, in other creepy and horrible news, my villagers are also slowly dying. This one became a zombie, and I think the sun got him. That's my bad. I should have provided sunglasses. And this one became a witch. <sighs> Perhaps I am not doing a very good job as Sun Princess after all. What the heck? I've asked for help in the only way that I know how. What we've learned so far today is, uh, Shelby has ghosts. Creepy sounds aside, Dawn still needs a lot of work and cleanup. Plus, there's this old railway that Impulse left here, and Impulse is long gone from Dawn. So I had to clean it up and replace the farmers so nobody knows I accidentally got them killed. Nope, nope, nope. I don't know what has happened here, but I am a horrible rail designer. Nobody let me engineer things. There's a good reason I chose to be a princess. What the heck? Mm. That's creepy. It's very, very creepy. Huh? I think the weird sounds just gave me a book. Dear sweet creature, we are so cold. Please help us. Cook some chicken on our campfire. Find us on top of the mountain by the Dawn Gate. You know, I'm in the business of carrots. Carrots. I guess I should probably do something about this note, though. Am I really spending my day going beyond the gates, hunting for chickens for a mysterious book that fell from the sky? Chicken? I'm so sorry about this. Now I'm supposed to cook said chicken on the mountain by my gate. Oh. Well, that definitely wasn't there before. Okay. I'm cooking the chicken. Alright. 
This was entirely weird, but at least the voices have gone away. I think I'll calm my nerves with a little bit of decorating. Alright, it took a little while, but I think I got all of the farms back up and running. Our wheat field here is working super hard. I, um, well, I buried the last guy. It's fine. It's fine. Totally fine. I'm not gonna let that happen again. Don't worry. I also, I moved the copper rods, so hopefully no more witches. We do not like witches. We do like carrot farmers, and this carrot farmer is working very hard alongside the potato farm. Wait, what the heck? Oh, not again. No, come on. I'm farming. What do you want? Hmm. Oh, no. No. No, I don't believe I'm going down there today. As a matter of fact, I've been having a lot of fun as a regular old princess doing some farming stuff. I'm a human, and I make a great human. The human experience is fantastic. And actually, to prove it, I'm gonna get back to farming. There's a few things that we're missing around here anyways, and I have worked very hard on the Dawn Village and also the church, so working on our very important farming district would make the most sense. And this spot here has been a little blank for a little too long. We've always had this lovely palette here marking out what we could build out of, but I think it's time we remove that now and move on to actually building something here. First though, I suppose we are gonna have to clear the space. All right, with the trees cleared out, now all I have to do is shape a little bit of this terrain here to make lots of room for our new windmill. I suppose it's probably also time that we finally fill in this hole. It's been here for long enough. Eh, that should probably do it. I've decided since our strongest wind probably comes off of the ocean, the windmill's actually going to be facing this way, away from the farms, but we'll have an entrance on the other side and a path leading up to it just over here. We're gonna need a bunch of materials for this though, so it's time to start gathering, starting with a trade because I don't actually grow any jungle wood over here. It's okay though, let me just bring some of my best items for trade. Off we go to sanctuary. Here we are. Go, Bruno. Thank you. Oh, oh, Jam. Hi, I'd like a drink. Hello. Oh, hi. Yes, Bruno. We have a customer. Hold on, I got this. Oh, here, you're the, uh, the best one. This is oh, this is delicious. Ready? <laughs> uh huh. Take that. Okay. Yum yum. Ooh. Ooh, it makes you strong. Nice. Uh -huh. Thank you, Bruno. Pick that up, Bruno. Bruno! Oh no. Oh, he's giving you a hug! Oh. <laughs> he's so, he's so cute! Lovely. Um, listen, I came to Sanctuary because I need some of your wood that I've heard all about. Oh, Jen, oh, everyone comes from all over the place for my wood. Come over here, let me show you where I keep it. Okay, sure, yeah. <laughs> the most quality wood you've ever seen. I bet it is. I brought some quality stuff from Dawn, too. I got some carrots and some honeycomb. Oh, I am so hungry. I only have 23 left of these. That's it. And I'm going to go hungry forever. Well, if you've got any jungle wood, then you're going to have 64 more. Oh, oh, let's go. Come, 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 come. This is Miguelito the second. Say hello, Miguelito. Hello. You don't have a name tag. Yeah, we're very poor. If you have name tags, bring those along too. <laughs> I have so much wood. You ready to take my wood, Jim? Yes. Take it. Oh, over there it is. I got so many. How Thanks. many do you need? Thank you. <laughs> yeah, that's enough. Oh, there it is. That's I, good. That's no, so have more. many. Here, take no, my that's wood. Good. I have so much that's more. That's enough. Here no, you go. No, you can have there it. Go. No, no, have more. That's, that's Enjoy. Good. That's no, good. Go that's enough slices. It's enough. Oh, okay. Oh, perfect. There you go. Yeah, I have a lot. I've been take collecting. That up. Goodness gracious. Oh. oh, thank you. Oh, Jen, have you been hearing some weird noises? I did hear some weird noises. They wanted chicken. Yep. Oh, mine wanted turtles. Turtles? Yup. Oh. Two of them. Yup. That's weird. I don't know if it's good or bad, so um, well, just be on the lookout, okay? There's a lot of crazy stuff happening in the background. Yeah, you know what? I've actually decided to ban magic. We're not doing any magic. There's no magic oh. in Dawn. None. 
None at all? Okay. Um, yeah, because, like, I have these whiffs yeah. that come by sometimes. And, yeah. you know, they've been doing really nice things. But lately, you know, I don't, I'm just, I'm not interested, you know? I'm, I like being a human. Oh. Yeah, being human is fun, but, uh, magic No magic. Too. You know, I built most of this stuff with magic. No, yeah. no, no magic. No magic. You see that tree over there? That was a magic tree. Look at it. Look how pretty magic it's, things. It's really pretty, but... Yeah. I think that magic. we should just Did wear that... sunglasses and stay at a magic. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah, that. But I might need it. There is a, an evil version of me walking around. I forgot to tell you as well. And I might need to uh, cast it out. <laughs> See, this is the type of trouble that magic gets you into. We're not doing any magic. I know. No more magic. Okay, no magic. Okay, no magic. That's fine. Whenever I pass by dawn, I'll make sure I'll leave my staff at home. Yeah, that's a good idea. I like that. You just, yeah. you know, and stay out of trouble, too. sleep and stuff. Mm -hmm. I'll sleep. Yep. I lost my sunglasses, by the way. Mm -hmm. I think the evil guy took it. Oh. Here. I can make another pair. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, perfect. <laughs> oh, thank you. I actually haven't Anything seen my eyeballs in a while. Princess. <laughs> oh, my God. Actually, I forgot what color your eyes were. <laughs> Oops. Nice. Hmm. You need to take them out from time to time. You know, show, show people your eyes. Show them. Yeah. You look well. shorter today without the glasses, too. What do you mean I look shorter? <laughs> Why, are you, you tall or something? Weird. <laughs> uh, no, you just look shorter without the sunglasses. It's really weird what sunglasses do to a person. <laughs> All right. Who would have thought? I'm going home. I've been called short. <laughs> You're doing magic. See you later, shorty. <laughs> Thanks for the wood. You anti-magic shorty person. Get out of here. Enjoy my wood. <laughs> I will. Okay, goodbye. I'm going back in the tavern. There's more drinks in there. Hold on. I'll be back soon. See you later. <laughs> Visiting sanctuary is always such a treat. Yep, let's go home and get a new pair of sunglasses. All right, and with that little pickup from Sausage, I think that that means I have pretty much everything that I'll need for this whole entire project. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get to work. It's time to build a windmill. I have finished my windmill, and to be honest, I quite like it. I think that it rounds out this area really good. It fits with the theme. The sheep seem happy with it. Oh, I should show you the actual windmill side. Hold on. Uh-huh. Not bad, huh? It kind of sits here nicely on this little cliff edge. We can blend it in with a couple of crop fields maybe around here, but overall, it's looking very good. Now, under normal circumstances, I would probably start working on the interior. However, I've had an idea. Oh, I should get a new pair of glasses. Uh-huh. Now, as I was saying, my next idea. You may notice that the Empire of Dawn is set up a little different from the typical. We have no main castle, despite having a monarch. We do have this little shipping area for merchants down here. We have this rich town square. And closer to the top, we have our farms. Which is sort of subtly implying that the farms in Dawn are, well, the most important. In Dawn, the farms hold all of our value, all of our wealth, everything that we can share with the other empires comes from the farms. We grow them with the light from the sun, and they are very, very important. However, we don't actually have very many. In this main farming area over here, we have automatic farms, right? So we've got an automatic wheat field over here, automatic potatoes, and automatic carrots. And that's pretty much all of the fields that we have. Now, on a non-lore perspective, this actually does provide all of the carrots, potatoes, and wheat that we could ever possibly need. However, aesthetically, it doesn't really look like we farm that much, right? We don't have that many fields. We've got like a little barn, three little fields, another one right there. Not a lot really going on. So, I propose that we take some inspiration from my grandpa in Newfoundland and we build some new farms over here on this island. This island I've been kind of waiting to decorate for quite a while. I'm quite inspired by this area, this rocky shoreline, as it is very similar to what I grew up with here in Newfoundland. And here in Newfoundland, you can actually grow your root vegetables near the salt water. You just need some seaweed for fertilizer. 
Well, I suppose you don't need it, but like most people would use it. You just go to the beach, you pick up some seaweed, you dry it out on your beds, and it becomes a great fertilizer. So I thought to add a little bit of realism to my crop fields, I would do just that and plant a bunch of fields on this island. This is technically kelp and not seaweed, but we're gonna work with it either way. First things first, let's dry it out. Ooh, and we'll surround the fields in some mangrove fruits and mangrove leaves, as I have absolutely no shortage of those. Well, I guess the first thing I'm gonna have to do is, uh, well, it's gonna have to be cleaned up, isn't it? This is such a mess. attention that we actually have a whole flock of chickens out here. I didn't really know that these were even here, but maybe we should invite them into Dawn as official citizens. We can have a chicken coop. I mean, why not, right? Everybody loves a chicken coop. I don't really know what a chicken coop needs, but I imagine some fences and a tiny structure will probably do it. And of course, some seats. There we go, it's a cute little chicken coop. I think that it totally does the trick. You can tell exactly what it is. And then we'll do a little gateway right here. And of course, lots of fences to make sure that I keep my chickens safe. Now all we gotta do is lure in the chickens. Come on everybody, it's getting nighttime. We have to make it to the coop. Come on, come on. I spent all day building this. I promise you'll love it. Look at me, I'm a real mother hen. Come on, come on. There we go. Seeds for everybody. Baby chickens. Oh, it's perfect. You know, in Newfoundland, you more so hear of islands like this grazing sheep, <laughs> safe from predators, but I think chickens will also do the trick. No foxes are getting out here. All right, I dare say this island is looking a lot more cleaned up now. And with the chicken coop, we now have a second purpose to come out here beyond our lighthouse and enchanting setup. This expands Dawn quite a lot, so I'm excited for it. Now for the fun part, the crop fields. Oh, we're gonna have so many crop fields. So I've decided we're gonna probably do this mostly with these mangrove roots and leaves, just cause we have so many of them. And I'm just gonna very organically kind of angle things down towards the water. All of the crop fields flow towards the water. So we'll start with something sort of like that and then we'll branch it off in a couple of spots to sort of section out more fields. Okay, let's get a little look from the sky. Yeah, so you could totally see how that's a separate field, that could be a field, this could be a field. It's all fields. I just love making a farming area in Minecraft chickens. Isn't it wonderful? Look at them using the coop. I've added quite a variety of crop fields, a lot of potato and carrot, but also some beetroot and a little patch of wheat over there. And then in between, I've added lots of flowers. So sunflowers, peonies, lilacs, just to add a lot of color to the place. And honestly, I think that this fits my sunshiny empire so well. Of course, we still need to terraform a bunch of stuff around the lighthouse to get that kind of blended in, but the crop fields on our way to the lighthouse definitely bring so much life. And now that Dawn has a lot of crop fields, I have a mission. You see, since I've been back online, I've realized there's a bunch of evil things happening around here. We've experienced some of them today. In order to combat some of this evilness, we don't need magic. We don't need anything but the power of the sun, a pair of sunglasses, and maybe a little snack. I think some cookies, some bread, some pumpkin pie from Dawn could be just what all of these evil things need. So I'm gonna use my influence as the food providing empire to hopefully feed a whole bunch of these hungry people. All right, I've got a bunch of treats. Now let's go spread some warm baked goods around the server. Oh, here we are. I think a witch lives here, so we should be very careful. Okay, first parcel, delivered. Next one is for Jimmy. That'll probably do it. And finally, something for sausage. 
Well, bees, I think we did fantastic work today. What do you think? And with that, I do believe that's enough for one episode. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. I had so much fun today. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye, everyone. Enjoy the sunshine. The heck? It grew. And it gave me ice-tipped arrow and a kind note? Huh?